Trust me, I've been doing this for years. I've got this. Do you? <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one. <laughs> Make them fearful that the uh, that, that the pterodactyl is coming. <laughs> <laughs>
I did it. I did it. I caught him. Hi. Ow. Ow. All right, cabbage. That is really, really wet. 59 cents. Animals will love this stuff. We need to shop here more often for food. Mini watermelons. You just gotta break it up. There you go, everybody. Just like that. You can come back here and explode fruits and it's fun and you're feeding everything. So aside from me going fishing in the pond, we do have a slight issue. So basically, I don't know if you guys have been subscribed to the channel, you know this. If you don't, let me refresh your memory. Council and at least express our side of this and why we felt that it was important, right? And give our feedback and I mean, uh, like but there's not even a possibility of that so they've made their decision the towns that are the size of ours they don't have these types of restrictions necessarily mm. well right and that's what i'm saying is we have them on video both the police chief and the animal control officer saying they were on our side to push for this to be changed the animals are definitely very well taken care of they're all rescues so. i just don't want them to be taken from me yeah, and I understand that, yeah. so, but unfortunately someone made a complaint and we got a job to do. Yeah. But no, uh, I, yeah, I wanted to be able to talk to you guys about everything. I'm, I'm personally rooting for you. I, yeah. I think Thank it's God. awesome that they're in the city and uh, Thank you. I hope it all works you, out for you. Were you the guy that rescued all the goldfish? Yes, ma'am. That's what I thought. The city wanted to take our animals, but they actually, they had made up a reason to take the animals, which is kind of messed up. There was actually nothing in the ordinance ever saying they could take them. We kind of won that fight with the city. It was supposed to be a really big thing. There was almost lawsuits involved. Like it was, it was getting bad. So we won, it was finalized, nothing happened until we had an animal control officer show up the other day. He has the lettuce, that's good. But no, so an animal control officer came over the other day and he gave me this whole sheet that I needed to fill out permits for all these animals, which costs a lot of money. You have to have certain things done to require these, like to get these permits also. So I'm sitting here, I didn't think anything of it. I was like, all right, I'll just get the permit, screw it, we'll pay the money. But to get the permits, basically all the all the boy animals here have to be neutered, like waddles. We, we did do that. That was, that was bad. But all the girls have to be spaded, which is being neutered, but for like a girl, it's, it's a weird concept. I don't want to do that though. So I was a little confused. So I talked to Chris and this is what he said. Well, in the ordinance, it doesn't say we need any of that. Like literally. They're just constantly trying to fight something. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Waddles has the whole outer shell of the watermelon now. Not the point. There's nowhere in the ordinance that also requires us to have permits. So it's kind of like they're coming at us, making up these rules that don't exist. I don't really understand why. So it's the same concept that happened before. They're basically coming at us saying we need something that it says nowhere in the city's laws, rules, or regulation, ordinance basically, that we need them. So basically what we're gonna try and do is not do it. We're not gonna do it because it doesn't say we need to do it anywhere. I don't wanna get the girls spaded. I don't wanna do that to a few of my animals for specific reasons in the future. So it's a little complicated, it's a little weird, but we're getting a new house soon, and I, I don't think they can take them, but we're just trying to look at it. That's kind of like your daily update for that situation. On top of that though, all the animals are eating, they're having a blast. We went to the animal park, we attempted to catch birds, that really didn't work. A big thing though, is we're having a massive merchandise drop, probably as good as it's gonna to get like professionally done logos that we've been working on with the merchandise company we worked through our whole entire team it's gonna be sick i don't have the release date yet but it's sometime in november the shirts are gonna be insane let me see those cheeks let me see those cheeks i love you guys click the subscribe button down below bobby shut the click the like button we'll catch you on the next episode Peace. perfect beware of, of goose uh, they didn't sell the sign so we had to make our own oh, yeah.